Hello, Nintendo fans. My name is Mario Master. We're doing today, and if you are wondering, yes, I did get a haircut. Only took about five years, and now I look more like a sophisticated adult. Yay! We always wanted that in my. I always wanted that in my life. Now, didn't I? So I'm here to talk to you guys about a problem that I have been facing, or uh, the wide. Um, I'm not going to turn that off quite yet. It will just be there as a distraction. No, I'm going to turn it off. So I, I, I'm here to talk about a problem that has been plaguing the PlayStation Network store, um, the Steam store, and um, I believe also the Nintendo store as well, and probably Xbox too. Um, now, I have only really... Uh, experiences on uh, nin on uh, PSN and Steam. I haven't been on my Switch and or Xbox in about a year, um, except for when I recorded that Forza video, which was uh, several months ago, and I already had Forza. So, um, and and the problem is is that the amount of just shitty slop thrown together AI generated mobile game ads that are on the store. Now this has become a pretty recent issue and I take great offense to this because it um it prevents actual indie developers and actual good p and actual good developers um it, it prevents them from actually um you know getting their work out and um experiencing the world or exp and people experiencing their games and uh i'll throw up some examples here but like this is getting insane like you can take about two three seconds on the psn store or the steam store and just see a load of ai generated slop mobile game ads that cost like 20 bucks that no one's gonna buy and you know widely this is regarded as um shovelware which is correct this is shovelware that's all it is and that's all it has been now my problem with this is is that sony is not doing anything about it steam is a little bit more on when it comes to their store and they are always on the crackdown when it comes to bad games on their store and uh, scams and all that fun stuff and plus you can report games on Steam now I'm not sure if you can report games on PlayStation I've never tried um, maybe you can let's start up my PlayStation here see I knew I shouldn't have turned off my TV um, the problem with it is that you can't just, like, we should not be able to have, like, see just the shittiest shovelware fucking AI-generated games on the PlayStation Store. It It's a major problem. So, I, I know you guys can't see it. Um, if I rotate my phone a little bit... So let me turn off my light. The it has to adjust a little bit, but you know, you guys can see barely maybe hold on, let me Oh yeah, I can't. Actually I think it was better with the light on. It's strange because like my phone adjusts the light density on the TV better. So let let's just take five seconds on the Steam store here. Alright? So we're gonna go down uh, yeah, I mean, like, you guys can't see it. I'm sorry, I don't have any other light options. It's either this, which is worse, or this, which is not better. If I, hold on, let me tilt it down slightly. Oh, that's so much worse. It, it's just gonna have to do, alright? Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can't get any close-ups. So we have, like, some actual, legit games. You know, we have... 
Black Ops 6, Fortnite, 2K25, FC25, College Football, Warframe, GTA, Roblox, Farming Sim, Madden, Sparkling Zero, Dragon Age, Minecraft, Faz, Apex, Zenless Zone, uh, Undisputed, Rainbow Six, Mortal Kombat, Overwatch, Genshin, Genshin Warhammer, Lego, um, uh, Store Rail, you know, Wukong. Like, all of these are pretty legitimate games. But once you get past all of these, like, Dead by Daylight... See, we have our very first mobile game. And it's Empire of Ants. Which is originally a mobile game, and it actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh, and it has a pretty good rating. Okay, I'm gonna move on from Empire of Ants. That actually looks pretty legit. game called eFootball. Nah, no, this looks pretty legit too. The finals. Just gotta keep going, I guess. I don't remember them um, being this low. Down. I mean, maybe they have started on the crackdown. Like, maybe there was enough outcry about these fucking, like, shitty AI-generated shovelware trash that, you know, no one was actually liking, you know? It was just... I am mean, like, you couldn't go on the store for, like, two seconds without seeing something like it. It was ridiculous. Call of the Lamb, Sky... Actually, all of these are, like, legit games. I haven't seen one... AI generated uh, thing yet. And uh, Civilization, that's a legit one. Huh. Yeah, I mean, like, these are all very legit games. Just Cause 3, Crash Bandicoot. Slay the Princess, which I've heard is very good, by the way. Let It Die, Monopoly, Adam Fall. That might be a little bit AI. It's trying to pick up girls in a dungeon, but then you scroll down a little bit more and it's Balloons TV6, so that makes me think it's legit. But, like, actually, these are all, like, fairly legit No, that's a legit game. I've just never heard of it. Huh. Alright, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe uh, Sony has actually um, cracked down on these shovelware games. And I just didn't know. No, Red Dead Revolver has always been like a meme one. That's been on a store for forever. Here we go. I, I just had to go down far enough. Here we go. Here's another... Here's, here's one that's pretty bad here. Grocery Shop Simulator for the PS4 and PS5. Um, as you can see, or as you can't see... Let me see if I can... One second. Oh, I know. I took my diploma off camera here as we as you can see it's a very obvious ai generated thing here and that's ai like as you can see if you look at this motherfucker like what what's going on over there this is pretty clear uh ai generated because like that guy's eyes all fucked up so that's one i've successfully found at least one ai uh generated game here Let's see. Let's keep going down. Maybe I just had to get down low enough 
to actually find some of these like shitty, very clearly AI generated games. No, that's real. That actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, uh, played up, game idol. This game I saw a lot of people shitting on for some reason. Not sure why. I haven't played it. Stick Fight. That's a legit game. That's also very fun, by the way. Pacify. Star Truck Simulator. Okay, that looks like a legit game, and it looks kind of fun, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get it, but you know. Yeah, I mean, like, it does seem like widely they've cracked down on a lot of these... A lot of the AI generated uh, games here because I haven't found a lot. I found one so far. That actually looks real. Yeah, it has pretty good reviews too. I mean, this, like, Adventure Capitalist, really? That's a mobile game. Do we really need a fucking mobile game on a PSN store? No. But Adventure Capitalist has been on the PSN store for a while now, so. So actually. Funnily, I'm not finding a lot. I, I was expecting this. To be like way worse. Because it was way worse. It was really bad. Like you couldn't go down two, two feet down the uh, PSN store. Without seeing. A. This looks AI generated. But it's actually not. That's in game graphics. And it's pretty highly rated. So I, I was expecting, because it was, like, really bad. Like, you couldn't go two feet down the PSN store without seeing an AI-generated uh, game. But now I've only seen one so far, or one that I've seen. Um, and, like, even that wasn't that bad. And it's possible that I've missed one. This might be AI. Pilot Flight Simulator. That looks AI generated. I actually can't quite tell. Um, uh, Dragon Quest is a legit one. Yeah, honestly, I haven't found a lot. I think that one might be one, the one that we just looked at. This one, see, like, this is stuff that we don't need. This is another mobile game. We don't need fucking Candy Crush on the PSN store, guys. Freaking Frozen Freefall. <laughs> but, like, all the games that, like, I've passed by have all been, like, legit, I, I believe. Like, We Happy Few. Gone Too Soon, if you ask me. Gorilla Tag, boo. Um... Like, all these look fairly, you know, realistic here. I thought it was going to be way worse. I mean, like, we've seen a bunch of, like, mobile games, but, like, at least those are a little bit more understandable to an extent. That looks pretty AI, but that seems pretty real. Tomb Raider. Like, these are, like... They're all legit. I mean, worms. Fuck yeah, I love worms. I mean, like, and then you, you're kind of getting into, like, the slop 18 plus realm that has always fucking been here. Hmm. 
I thought this was going to be way worse, but I just passed by totally reliable delivery service. One of the best games ever. Yeah, oh my god. People buy that shit, though. You can customize your breast and thigh length width. I don't fucking know size in this game, apparently. It's $12. Fucking kill me. But, like, you have games like I Am Bread here, you know. So, so far, I've actually not seen... That's legit. Um, yeah. Well, apparently I was wrong. We have Happy Humble Burger Barn on here. Yeah, apparently I was wrong. Like, I haven't seen... I've seen... One definitely AI generated one and one other possible one. Waifu Impact 2 fucking kill me. But overall, this is actually pretty good. Exit 8 is on here. I didn't even know that. Blob 2. Tony Stewart's All American Racing. Good game. My Singing Monsters Playground, like, these are all very legit games here. I just passed fucking Scorn, good game. Forklift Simulator, that's legit. Bioshock 2. Secret Agent Clank. No, yeah, that's legit. That just caught me off guard a little bit. Keep talking, nobody explodes. That's definitely new. Party panic, that's legit. Okay, apparently they've very much cracked down on the shitty AI ones. Never mind, I just came across one. No, that's... It uses an AI cover, but, like, no AI screenshots. This is a shitty game. It has 23 reviews, and all of them are one star. It looks like, oof. It, probably, it looks like it has one five star, and it's probably from the dev. But, like, let me look up Simulator. Hold on. This is probably where they all lie. That looks legit. Bus driver, city driver. I think this is by the people who made... It doesn't look too legit, but it also looks like the people who made, um, uh, um, Supermarket Simulator. View all, yes, Bum Simulator is legit. World War Two Bunker Simulator. It actually looks pretty legit. Doesn't look too good, but you know. It's one that is like really obvious. Like you can tell it's AI potato sack racing simulator. That's legit. Here we go. Forest Cafe Simulator. I know you guys can't see that, but this is AI. That's really clear too. Hold on. That's AI generated. But it looks, I mean, the graphics are a little cooked. And it actually has pretty high reviews. It's just the main page is AI. Interesting. So I guess they've really cracked down really shitty ones. Well, maybe not, because I just found another AI-generated one. But once again, a lot of these just kind of look like they use AI for their... 
home page, but no. Oh, I found them all. Look up simulator. Super supermarket owner simulator. Not just supermarket simulator. That's the thing that can get you. Car detailing simulator. This is legit. That's a that's a legit game. Theme park simulator. Headdresser simulator. That's an AI. Yeah, I mean, like, this is where you go if you really want, like, the AI stuff. Doctor Simulator, Cat Life Simulator. Like, the funny thing is, it's the one that are, it's the ones that are wishlist, because they're not on the store yet. So, like, you can tell that they're AI generated. I mean, so, like, Overall, just be careful when it comes to, yeah, next, <laughs> that game's not coming out until 2026. We really need two years, two whole ass years to make Doctor Simulator, guys. Hold on. You know what's out on, hold on. I mean, to be fair, it's been out for a long time, but... You can get Surgeon Simulator. 12 bucks, you don't have to wait. And Surgeon Simulator is a good game and has been out for over 14 years. Holy shit. I should totally get Surgeon Simulator. And Super Hot Mine Hold. Oh! I want Super Hot so bad. I need it. I need a. I need a headset. I I want a VR headset so bad. So yeah, I mean, it looks to be uh, fairly cut down on the AI generated stuff. It used to be way worse, like legit. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But like, it used to be like legit. Every few seconds you went on the PSN page. There were about like 10 to 15 freaking um, things for AI generated trash. I mean, if you just look up the word simulator, that's where they all lie. So just avoid any like simulator games. I mean, like if you know what you're looking for and they're all on a digital store too. If you know what you're looking for, like if you really want like farming simulator 25, then look for Farming Simulator 25 or like, um, or just look up if you can get, you know, Supermarket Simulator. But like, look at the reviews, you know, before you buy it, you know, look if it's even available on console, like the actual Supermarket Simulator. You just got to be careful when it comes to that kind of stuff. Spend your money smart, you know, don't be like me and just spend your money on dumb shit. Um, but yeah, I mean... It wasn't as bad as I was expecting. They've clearly uh, cracked down on this issue majorly. So, yeah. But that's it. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and Twitch. All in the description below. Patreon's $1 a month. I do extra videos. And unedited content gets posted on there as well. Um, I'm working on the Cuphead video. Or Cuphead Part 2. Um, so. Look forward to that. It will either be done later tonight. And or uh, probably tomorrow is when I'm going to post that. So look forward to that. Uh, go follow me on Twitch. Uh, I, I like to try and stream on Twitch a couple hours at least. And I try to like to stream on there. Uh, once or twice a week. So, yeah, go check me out on Twitch. Uh, same thing, Mario Master 21. No capitals, no space. Uh, it's, in the it's in the link in the description. Okay, cool, cool. That's it. Peace. Bye.